Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we'll see how to make XO chart and data uh, grid in Mitsubishi Scala Genesis 64 using SQL database with filters of date and time. So let's get started. First of all, you need to uh, have one database uh, in your SQL server. I've already made it and let's see how we can connect that to the workbench. So first of all, you need to open the workbench here. Now go to the data connectivity, click on database. We have this SQL server here, click here. Right click and add SQL server native connection. Now go to the connection configuration here. Configuration connection here, select the SQL server name and the database from here. In my case, that is data log, click OK. Now we can do connection test. That is okay. Let's name this as data log. Okay. Refresh and close. That is done. Now right click here. We need to create, create and add data source here. Now go to the, let's name it as data source underscore test. Go to the advanced configurator. Here, click on this add button, use table, click OK. Select the tables you need in your uh, chart or grid. Then go to record and recording filter and sorting section. Create a filter here. We will create a relational filter here with the column name to be filtered as date and time. Relationship type equal to or we can say between list to let's say two parameters now we can name the parameter according to ourselves let's say that is date and time underscore from the another is date and time underscore two. click ok you need to sort using any of these let's say date and time Hold up a little bit click ok here is your string so test to test this command you have to click test command here we can use like 19.04 from and to is till date. Click next. We have this data. So we have three data for 19th of uh, April, three data for 28th, and four data for 21st. Click back. Let's see if it works. Let's say 21. Click next. So here we have four data for 21st. So that is working. Click OK apply and close so data is database is connected to your uh, workbench now we have to add one uh, add actually two uh, registers so we can go to the unified data manager here in the register let's right click and add a folder first let's say filter reg and close now you can refresh this we have the filter register here click here add register you can use a data date from or is it, you can normally use from here none the register is writable apply and new to writable none and close that's it so this is all you need to do it in workbench let's refresh it once more now go to the work graph works here first of all we need two data pickers date pickers sorry date and time pickers along with one button so let's make a button first let's name it as filter uh, okay now we need uh, two date and time pickers over here date and time picker one copy paste date and time picker two this and this so 
for date picker one we need to do one thing custom format here and uh, we need to select like y y y y dot capital l dd space uh, first is hours that is hh then we have mm then we have ss okay so this is our custom format for date picker one the format here let's make it custom okay now with the second one let's copy this custom format and format as the custom format okay now after doing this we need two labels that will contain the value of these two uh, date and time picker so we need to go to the dynamic uh, section let's use data entry in case we need to edit that one here copy paste let's see here okay yeah for this in the dynamic section process point is okay data source so the data source for this level will be our registers which we have uh, just made right now let's refresh this now go to the um, data connectivity section Publicity access registers let's refresh this we need to select a register that is were named as to and from from filter register this is from click ok tag is here now this is also a register let's name it as to click ok well this is done let's name it as end date and this as from date or you can say start date done now we need uh, one thing that is when we uh, we have created this both but we haven't connected the data from this date and time picker to this label so let's do that for this we need to click here go to the properties click on event uh, the event will be like value changed double click here so we have this uh, script editor open and the function is date time and picker change value same for the second one go to the properties go to the event click on double click on value change so both are here so for the first one we have this code like here we can use this okay now we need to paste it here first of all our the date picker for the first one here is one so let's use one here and the date the, the label name is you can see here it's in the dynamic section it start date so copy here and we can paste it here that's it once this is done click save let's save same with the data picker 2 copy this code again paste it here it will be date and time picker 2 and this will be end date 
as here and date okay so save this also now what happen what will happen we when we change any value in the intent time picker here or here the value will reflect in the labels below so let's check if it is working or not so like uh, i've changed it so it is showing us the change values here again for this one also let's say 21 it is showing 22 it is 22 now it is 21 so this is our script is working and our tags are working so now let's do one thing let's go to dynamic section here and let's take a grid first so we have this grid okay double click here grid you need to add from here data set tag okay now you have to use the data source so our data source is in database SQL Server, Data Log, Data Source, and Filter Test. Click OK. It is not able to fetch the data. Let's do one thing. Let's first refresh the again. Click here. Click on the data source. Refresh. Data source and use test. Click OK. It is fetching the data. That is okay. Okay. And that it. Now, to filter the data, first we need uh, to use this filter button. So, how we will do is we will transfer the data in these labels to the global allies, and through the global allies, we will use that global allies in the filter section. So, for this button, we have this dynamic property name as pick. Click here. In the command we need to write set global allies in the command allies we need to copy paste the uh, global allies form name like gs1 let me show you how click here in the command allies click and paste now you need to sorry yeah you need to change the uh, register here like we have this register so for this we need to click here copy paste this register and paste it here let's move it a little bit left so to do this till here so select all of this here to this and this let's paste it here that now copy paste this entire thing click again here and choose one another another pick that is here go to the set allies copy paste this and the from value will change to two okay and one more thing which will require the changes the global allies one and global allies two so gs1 will have the data for this and gs2 will have data for this now let's go back to the grid in the grid we can see we have this uh, command here so in the from section we will use gs1 and in two section we will use gs2 so removed from here and i have this gs1 gs2 so date and time from gs1 and date and time underscore 2 is equal to gs2 so click close and we are ready to test the grid click here as you can see we have all the data which is present in our data log uh, database so let's go here click on 18th go here click on 20 click filter we can see that we have the data for 19th and if i use uh, like uh, let's change the time from 4 to 11 and click on filter we have another data for 11 am 
instead of 11 if I write 23 and filter then you have data for till 3 p.m. because we have only three datas for 20th of April and for 19th of April also we have three datas so this is how your time and uh, uh, date and time work filter works with width for chart you can do one thing you can double click here click on tab add chart just copy paste this data tag click here go to series click add click ok just remove this and paste this plot area let's use line key binding date and time value is like data one and uh, go to the conditions of advantages chart area okay here first let's remove the um, grid sorry uh, should be visible the grid interval is okay grid lines false here also grid line false click on close double click once again go to the chart area series click here let's increase the thickness of our line click ok and close click on runtime so we have all this data here or we can do one more thing we can use the click on chart click on advance and we need to use enable tripod click close runtime now we have this tracker here let's say we want 28th filter so we have three data for 19th yes. and if i change it to 20 and to 21 we have data for 20th it depending on time actually so if I use 22, it will show 20 and 21 altogether. So this is how you can use the uh, time and filter using uh, this uh, icon scala. So all in this video. Uh, if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.